Namaste everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lydia. I've decided to launch a practice centered around how yoga can help us in the time of this pandemic that we're facing at the moment. Of course, a lot of our old habits are currently being replaced by new ones. And so I hope that these simple yoga postures can support you during your time at home. Let's meet on all fours. So every time you inhale, you're going to drop the belly down, start to draw the collarbones and the chin up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, round your back, draw the chin towards the chest. That's it. Again, belly goes down, breathe and fill your chest with fresh air. And then round your back, chin to the chest. Beautiful. Just keep going in this way for a couple more rounds. You've probably been sat down at your desks or makeshift desks at home for a couple of hours now, so it's really important just to start to mobilize that spine. Good, get that blood moving, nice and easy, gentle movements. Great work, everyone. The next time you come onto all fours, we're going to start to extend the right leg back and take a few gentle rocks backwards and forwards. If it feels good, you can tuck your left toes as well. And the idea of this kind of dynamic movement is to just get some length through your right hamstring. Now I want you to push that heel back, maybe potentially lifting the seat up towards the sky as you bend your left knee directly into the chest. Take one more deep breath here and fully exhale come down onto all fours let's move across to the other side extending the left leg back this time moving backwards and forwards that's it and then when you feel ready you're going to press the weight back into the left heel just shift the heel back Potentially maybe lifting up the sitting bones as you bend the right knee towards the chest. That's it. Pressing down into the palms of the hands. Make sure you spread your fingertips out wide. Even if you're doing this on carpet, that's absolutely fine. You don't need a yoga mat to be coming into some of these poses that I'm going to be introducing you today. All right. Then we're going to meet back onto all fours, everyone. Bring your knees out to the sides and start to sink the glutes down towards the heels as you reach the arms forwards. We call this pose Balasana in Sanskrit, but in English it's known as your child's pose. And it's a very restorative posture that you can just take to consolidate your breathing and start to look inwards. That's it. All we're going to do now is bring the right hand across and then potentially placing the left palm over your right hand. You should start to feel a beautiful stretch down underneath that left armpit region down to the rib cage and potentially even your waistline. A good one just to stretch your side body. Move across to the other side. Map your left hand across and place the right palm over the left hand. Keep your forehead down to the ground and breathe. Good, then let's come back to the center here. We're going to come and sit up onto the heels now, so meeting in that hero pose. Take your hands into a fist, interlace your fingers and then just start to Turn the wrist in one direction and then move across in the other direction. That's it. Interlace your fingers, stretch the arms wide, press the palms to face forwards and start to round your back. That's it. Drawing the navel back towards the spine and then reaching the arms up all the way. Maybe taking the arms behind your ears, get a good bright stretch, reaching across to the right side. And then move over across to the left side, look underneath the right arm. 
take it back to the center release the hands down onto your lap and come up onto your knees let's separate the knees hip width apart place the forefingers around your waistline tuck your toes and then start to push your hips forwards that's it so this pose is going to be really really great to start to open your chest open through the shoulders and just release a bit of tension around that lower back region when you've had enough just come and sit back into a child's pose sit the glutes down to your heels and reach the arms forwards take a couple of breaths here in through the nose and out through the nose we're going to enter that back bend once again so whenever you feel ready gently lift yourself back up you're on your knees once more you can take the same variation hands on your back or bring the prayer to the center of the heart similar to before you can tuck your toes push the hips forwards lift the heart up and start to lean back that's it keep your gaze up just relax the body don't try and push too hard when you've had enough let's meet back in that child's pose just allowing your spine to decompress slightly after that back bend Remember, a big part of the movement is learning to breathe a little bit more deeply into that diaphragm. Then we're going to meet back up onto our knees. So you could take option one, option two, or the third option is to enter your camel pose. Each hand grabs hold of each heel, and then again, Think about pushing your hips forwards. Imagine my two fingers right in between your shoulder blades asking you to lift your chest up. Good. And then when you've had enough, we're going to meet back once again in that child's pose. Deep breaths in through the nose. And deep breaths out through the nose. Let's come and meet in a comfortable seat now. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky and exhale, draw the hands to the heart. Two more like this. Deep breath in, circle high. Exhale, hands to the heart. One more deep breath in. Exhale, hands to your heart. Reach your right hand down to the side and take a gentle sweep with that left arm over and across. So again, I really want you to start to feel length starting from your left hip bone down to the waistline, all the way to your wrist. Beautiful. Keep breathing. And let's move across to the other side. Left hand down. Sweep the right arm across. You can look up or you can look down. That's completely your choice. Feel your rib cage and your shoulders, the chest expanding. Return back to the center. Let's take eagle arms, everyone. So we're going to start by bringing the left hand to the center and the right underneath your left. Start to draw the forearms away from your face and feel this wonderful stretch happening at the back of your heart. So just underneath the shoulders. Focus on the breath. Don't worry if you find it difficult to wrap the arms around so the palms touch. That's completely fine. Good. We're going to come out of the pose just roll the shoulders backwards and forwards a couple of times and then when you're ready right hand to the center left underneath the right again garudasana or eagle arms is a wonderful posture to stretch your shoulders and the upper back 
So you can practice this throughout your day. We're all working from home now in the time of Corona, so it's important to understand what poses you can do just to alleviate yourself from stress. Good. then come out of the pose bring your fingertips behind you here and lift the chest up start to expose your sternum the throat and if this is too much just look forwards it's completely fine feel your spine lengthening and then when you've had enough just slowly come back to the center we're now going to bring the soles of the feet together allow your knees to fall out to the sides and then when you're ready bring your hands interlace them around the toes and then fold as far as you can coming into your bound angle pose this posture is really wonderful to opening out your hips and if the groins feel a little tight, the same with the hips, you can always place cushions underneath your thighs. Gently lift yourself back up. Very good, everyone. And then you're going to slowly come to lie on your back. Separate your feet hip width apart. Inhale, lift the bum, draw the chin to the chest, and exhale, draw everything down. Inhale again, squeeze the bum cheeks, lift your lower middle back. Exhale, come all the way down. Let's move through a couple more rounds in your own time. Good. This is a form of bridge pose, which allows you to strengthen your lower back muscles. That's it, moving with your breath. Once you're down, next, hug the knees into the chest, come into a tight little squeeze. If it feels good, gently rock your body from side to side. Good. Keep your shoulders down to the mat. Relax the head. Let's come into our happy baby pose, my lovely. So shine the soles of your feet up to the sky and hands grab hold of the outer edges of the feet. Start to rock side to side or if it feels good to just stay still, you may remain as is. The benefit of Happy Baby is it gently stretches your inner groin and the back of the spine. Good. Hang out there and then slowly allow the soles of your feet to touch one another as you draw the knees out to the sides. You can keep your palms next to your hips or reach the arms back. We're coming into your reclined, bound angle pose. Focus on the breath again. Notice if the mind has wandered off. Breathing and softening the shoulders, the hips down to the mouth. Slowly draw the knees back in. You can give yourself a tight squeeze if that's what you wish or just stay still for a couple of moments here on your back. We're gonna wrap your left leg over the right. Draw the knees down towards the right. Use your right hand as an anchor and then reach that left hand across fully or just cactus out the arms as I'm demonstrating here. We're coming into your twisted roots pose, a wonderful way to decompress your entire spine. I like to think of this pose as you've got a wet piece of clothing and you're trying to wring that item of clothing, getting all the water out of the item. You can move back to the center. We're going to move across to the other side now. So use your left hand to hold on to that right thigh as you send your gaze down to the right hand. 
keep your breath long, relax the body. Let your shoulders automatically sink down. Gravity is doing all the work. Once you return back to the center, I'd like you to meet back in the hero pose. So come and sit on your heels, everyone. We're going to stretch your triceps, reach your left arm up. Use your right hand to pull the elbow down. Now this may be enough for some of you. But for those of you who want to feel a little bit more, perhaps you can release the right hand and see if you can find your fingers. Or maybe it's just the piece of clothing that you have and you just grab on to whatever you can reach. That's it. Feel the rotation around the shoulder joint, the triceps. Keep breathing naturally. Break the pose, roll the shoulders back a couple of times, and then lift the right hand up. Use your left hand to pull the elbow down. Option one is to remain there. Option two is to release your left hand behind you and see if you can start to work the bind. Of course, this is always optional. Don't push yourself if it's feeling a little bit too much. Good work everyone, I'm going to slowly break the pose when you feel ready, releasing the hands and roll the shoulders backwards and forwards, do what you need to do. Wrist stretch, important for those of you working, typing on your laptops, place the backs of your palms down, fingertips facing your feet and lean forwards. Now, if you want to feel more, start to round your back and shift the weight back. You'll automatically start to feel a deep stretch in the forearms and your wrist. Don't push too much, just go to a place that feels comfortable for you. Gently releasing the hands, come forwards back onto all fours. Bring one wrist on top of each other with the fingers pointing out to the sides and rock backwards and forwards. This is a wrist strengthening exercise. Again, important to look after the wrist joint, obviously, because we're all working on computers these days. We might not have a good setup at home and so our posture may be affected. The wrist may be affected. so. These are just simple postures you can practice every day to keep your joints healthy. Then we're going to end on all fours and I want you to start to carve out a figure of eight using your body. That's it. So imagine as though you're trying to draw a figure of eight using your shoulders, the hips, the waist, get everything involved. Good. And then reverse in the opposite direction. Feel the waves of the spine moving. Good. And then we're going to meet back on all fours here. Come to a seated position. And come to lie on your back. Take your feet mat width apart, let your palms face upwards. We're going to spend just a few moments laying on your back in Shavasana, your corpse pose. Let your body be completely still, even if it's just for a few moments. Come home to your breath. Start to move your fingers and the toes, the wrist and the ankles, perhaps rocking the neck from side to side. Give yourself a big stretch if that feels good or simply turn onto your right side. Just stay there for a moment, 
There's no rush. When you feel ready, just lift your body up to a comfortable seated position. Keep the gaze inwards, sit up nice and tall in a comfortable seat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands to your heart. Thank you for joining me in today's yoga practice. Have a wonderful rest of the day, everyone. Namaste.